Ah, uh, John Deere, or Deere & Company, as it's known in the business world. From manufacturing driver-free tractors by 2030 and having over 1 million machines connected within the cloud, to inadvertently preventing Russian soldiers from stealing Ukrainian tractors, here's what's next for the future of John Deere. It all began with a visionary blacksmith named John Deere, who hailed from the beautiful town of Rutland, Vermont, in the good old United States. It was February 7, 1804, and little did John know that he was about to change the game of farming forever. Now, let's fast forward to the year 1836. John Deere, seeking a fresh start after narrowly escaping bankruptcy, made a bold move and headed west to Grand Detour, Illinois. Armed with his blacksmith skills, he wasted no time and set up shop in a cozy 1,378 square foot space that's 128 square meters for our metric-savvy viewers. From this humble abode, Deere not only became the go-to repairman for the villagers, but also a genius creator of all kinds of tools, including trusty pitchforks and trustier shovels. But wait, that's not all. Deere was just warming up. He had a game-changing invention up his sleeve. It wasn't just any ordinary plow. It was the self-scoring steel plow. In 1837, using his ingenious skills, John Deere transformed a sturdy Scottish steel saw blade into a revolutionary plow. Now, you may be wondering, what's so special about a plow? Well, my friends, this plow was a game changer. See, before Deere's invention, farmers in the Midwest were struggling with their iron or wooden plows, which constantly got clogged up with that rich, sticky soil a very messy situation. But fear not, because John Deere came to the rescue. His smooth-sided steel plow saved the day by effortlessly gliding through the soil without getting all gummed up. It was like a magic wand for farmers, making their lives so much easier. And guess what? The groundbreaking invention played a vital role in the migration of settlers into the American Great Plains throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. Talk about a plow with serious swagger. Now, let's rev up the engines and fast forward to January 2022. Deere & Company is still in the game, folks. At the annual Consumer Electronics Show, they unveiled something mind-blowing, a self-driving tractor. And no, we're not talking about a little tractor for your backyard garden. We're talking about a massive, larger-than-life machine designed specifically for large-scale farming. Whoa! This cutting-edge invention is all part of Deere's master plan to revolutionize the world of agriculture. They're not just stopping at self-driving tractors, folks. They want to create what they call smart machines that will take farming to new heights of efficiency and speed. They aim to reduce reliance on human labor and embrace the power of technology. And how do they plan to do that, you may ask? Well, through the magic of software and cloud-based technology. John Deere Operations Center, their cloud-based platform, is set to become the central hub, connecting a whopping 1.5 million machines in service and half a billion acres of land. Can you imagine the sheer magnitude of that? It's like a digital ecosystem for farmers, where they can monitor, analyze, and optimize their operations with just a few clicks. Now let's dive into a topic that has sparked quite a bit of discussion in recent years. We're talking about the servicing and repair of John Deere farm equipment. Critics have pointed out that servicing or repairing John Deere equipment can be quite a challenge. Why, you ask? Well, it's because only John Deere has access to the computer code required for these operations. Additionally, they have set up a system where non-John Deere replacement parts may not be accepted. It sounds a bit restrictive, doesn't it? And here's another twist to the tale. Remote locking. Yes, you heard that right. In some cases, the manufacturer has the ability to remotely lock the equipment. Imagine the scenario. You're out in the field, ready to get to work, and suddenly your equipment becomes as useful as a pair of sunglasses at night. It's a bit frustrating to say the least. Now, let's take a moment to discuss an incident that made headlines. During the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, it was reported that Russian troops stole Ukrainian farm equipment. However, the dealers who owned this equipment had a trick up their sleeves. They remotely locked it. 
Very handy indeed, if you ask me. If you're in the USA, there's good news on the horizon. On January 9, 2023, John Deere took a significant step. They agreed to allow their customers in the US to fix their own equipment. That's right, they recognized the importance of empowering owners and giving them the freedom to take charge of their repairs. It's a step towards fostering a more open and accessible system. So, while there have been criticisms in the past about the limitations in servicing and repair, it's heartening to see that John Deere is listening to the concerns of its customers. The future of farming, and John Deere in particular, looks incredibly bright. Let's take a look at just some of the mind-boggling innovations they've brought to the world of agriculture. To start off, we have the large spraying drone, known as the Volo Drone. This incredible piece of machinery, developed in collaboration with Volocopter, features an enormous 9.2 meter diameter and 18 rotors. It's fully electric, utilizing replaceable lithium-ion batteries that provide a flight time of up to 30 minutes. The Volo Drone can be operated remotely or set on a pre-programmed route for autonomous flight. Imagine the possibilities of aerial spraying made more efficient and precise with this advanced technology. But that's not all. John Deere has more tricks up its sleeve. Picture this, an autonomous electric tractor concept that's both compact and environmentally friendly. This futuristic machine is equipped with a powerful 500 kilowatt electric drive unit and can be fitted with either wheels or tracks, depending on the application. With flexible ballasting options ranging from 5 to 15 tons, soil compaction is significantly reduced. Plus, thanks to the electric drive, operating emissions are a thing of the past, and noise levels are kept impressively low. Now let's talk about the Autonomous Sprayer, a game changer for precision agriculture. This sprayer, lighter than its conventional self-propelled counterparts, comes with a 560-liter spray tank. But what sets it apart is its ability to enter fields after rainfall without causing soil compaction. With a high ground clearance of 1.9 meters and four-wheel steering, this versatile sprayer can navigate various terrains with ease. And let's not forget about the tracks that minimize ground pressure, allowing for extended operating windows. It's all about maximizing efficiency and minimizing environmental impact. Now, let's step inside the cab, the command cab to be exact. This is where the future of farming operations truly shines. John Deere envisions a driver's cab that integrates artificial intelligence, putting the farmer in control like never before. With features like joystick control, touchscreen displays, and seamless networking of machine components, it's a whole new operating experience. Real-time weather data, individual presettings, and job management procedures can all be integrated into this advanced command center. The command cab becomes the hub, the brain, and the heart of agricultural operations. These advancements are reshaping the way we farm. Efficiency, precision, and sustainability are at the forefront, driving us towards a future where agriculture is smarter and more sustainable than ever before. Before we see self-driving cars flooding the roadways, John Deere has ambitious plans to introduce autonomous tractors to the fields by 2030. This exciting announcement was made at the 2022 Consumer Electronics Show, and it's causing quite a buzz. Imagine a tractor that can handle the many tasks involved in growing crops, all without a farmer on board. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, doesn't it? Well, Doug Minns, a Minnesota farmer, he got a taste of this futuristic farming technology on his sprawling 2,000-acre corn and soybean farm. And let me tell you, he was blown away. Doug believes that these autonomous tractors can actually outperform human farmers talk about a vote of confidence. But here's the twist. Not all farmers are on board with the idea just yet. Take Dave Busby, for example. He's a farmer from central Missouri who loves the hands-on experience of working on his trusty tractor, especially when plowing up the ground in the early spring. To Dave, that connection with the land is what defines the essence of real farming. He just can't fathom a world where he's not physically behind the wheel. Dave's sentiment is understandable, especially considering his deep-rooted love for traditional farming. And hey, he's not alone. 
many farmers are a bit skeptical about the whole autonomous tractor concept. They cherish the sense of being hands-on and actively involved in their daily farming routines. It's a connection that they feel is irreplaceable. However, there are other farmers, like Chris Otten from Southern Illinois, who see the potential benefits. Chris, who farms acres upon acres of corn and soybeans, dreams of passing down his family farm to his eight-year-old son. He believes that embracing autonomous tractors could help keep the next generation engaged in agriculture. Imagine the day when his son takes the reins and becomes the fourth generation to steward their cherished land. That's truly a legacy in the making. Now, Chris raises an important point. He emphasizes that it's crucial for autonomous tractors to be set up and managed by farmers who have a deep connection to the land, rather than being dictated by a distant corporate technician. After all, farming is more than just a job, it's a way of life. By ensuring that farmers remain in control and actively direct the technology, we can preserve the essence of agriculture while leveraging the benefits that autonomy brings. Many farmers believe that complete reliance on technology without farmer involvement could lead to risks and potential issues in our food supply chain. We need that human touch to oversee and make informed decisions, ensuring that everything runs smoothly. It's a delicate balance, folks. So, as we peer into the future of farming, it's clear that the adoption of autonomous tractors will require thoughtful consideration and farmer-led implementation. The goal is to embrace technology while preserving the spirit of agriculture that has sustained us for generations. Keep those hands on the wheel or joystick, my farming friends, and remember that the future of farming lies in finding the sweet spot between tradition and innovation.